Hi, this is Jason from Effective Dashboards, helping maintenance and reliability professionals get the most out of Power BI. So welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use the Keep Filters On option when you are setting up Jolthus. Okay, so let's get started. So the first thing we've got is this is a dashboard that I've got a free course on, so check the link description below if you want to understand how to build this. But part of this course is that we put a drill through to allow us to drill into each one of these different values here by right clicking, drill through, and then we get the work order details. Now, it's going to drill through into all of the work orders, all of that 233 work orders, where the work order priority is three. And then in here, likewise, it shows those 162 work orders, etc. So when we go and look at the, the drill through screen, we can see that we've got this keep filters on. Now, what that does is it means that if I put a filter on, say, on safety here, and then I drill through onto this 21 work orders, it's going to keep any of the other filters that are on outside the visual. Okay, so apart from priority one work orders, which is inside the visual there, which you'd expect is also inherent in any of the other filters that have been applied to the dashboard, which is what you would expect. So that's in the vast majority of the cases, that's exactly why, how you would configure that. Now, if I go back and if I go and take this off, there is a use case or the, where you would actually want to not inherit the filters and I'm just going to show you that. So if we click on here and we want to, in this instance, split this by priority, but also by status code um, as a legend. So let's go in and add in our status code. Okay, and we'll just quickly go and change the, the legend to be off to the right hand side. Okay, so we can see that's the different statuses that a work order can be at. Um, now, as part of that, once you've added in a legend here, you can actually add a total to the top of this. So if I type in total here, we've got total labels, and if we switch that to on, we can see it's added a total label at the top there. So I'm just going to change that to make it a little bit smaller. Now, what you want to do here is, um, it's two options. The first one is you might want to drill through and only see the priority three work orders where the status is, for example, um, W shed. Okay, so to do that, what we need to do is make sure that status is added in here. So we will add in the status code here. Okay, and use a category, that's fine. Um, so if we go back in here, we can right click on here, drill through to the work order details and we can see we've got all of the weight and schedule work orders, which is 113. Now, there might also be a, a situation where you want to be able to see not the 113 work orders, but the total there, the 233 work orders. So let's show you how you would set that up. So I'm going to take a copy of this page here. And I'm just going to rename it to total at priority. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out everything except priority, okay? So I'm going to leave work order priority in there. And I'm going to take out all of these other ones here. And I'm going to turn this keep filters to be, I'll leave it on for just now actually to show you what this does. So if I go back to home and I right click on here, go to drill tools, we can see we've still got the two here. Okay, that's because status is still on this work order details, but we've also got this option here to um, to look at work order total at priority. Now, if I click on here, we can see that we've got 113 work orders because this keep filters is still on. Okay, so it's inherited the status here for for total work orders or for work orders at priority three and work order status is waiting schedule. And that's because we clicked on this box here, this segment here. So it's picking up on the fact that we've got a filter context that's priority equals three and work order status equals waiting scheduled. However, what we can do is go back into this total priority here and we can get rid of that for just now. And we can keep all filters to be 
off. Okay. Now if we go back in here, sorry, back in here, if we right click on here, we've got two options. We've got work order details or we've got work order total at priority. And if we check here, we've got 233 here and we've got 233 here and we can see we've got all of the different status codes here. So it's actually showing you the work orders that make up this 233 here. Okay, now the other option is still available to us if we just choose the normal work order details because we've still got the work order priority and the work order status in this um, this um, this field here and we've got the keep filters on. So just a bit of a use case there for when you might want to use this toggle here to keep all filters um, because prior to this I was wondering when you would use it. So now I've got an example here so I thought I'd share it with you in case you come up against this yourself. So if you found this video useful it would be brilliant if you could give it a thumbs up and if you want to keep up to date with the latest videos, I tend to release one every week, then click the subscribe button and click the notification bell and you'll get a wee notification um, whenever I release a new video. Thanks again for listening and I'll talk to you in the next video.